Mumbai Studios presents Mare Mare Club! At syempre, asa tayo ngayon, Mare? We are in Golden One. Yes, here at Sacramento. Go Cove. Uh -oh. uh, downtown Commons here in Sacramento. And ang nakakatuwa, dito si Jimmy every day. So this is the home court of so Kate. Yes. This is where he works. This is the home court. This is also where the Sacramento Kate play. Pero today, ang <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're having, we're having so much fun. Yeah. We, have to do, we would like to thank our subscribers. Guys, keep on the comments because we read it. We appreciate all your support. So, so keep, keep coming. Coming, keep commenting, keep sharing. So like keep sharing. Uh -oh. Today, our guest is very interesting. Yes. Yes. Strong woman. Na may pinagdaanan na matinding intersection. Nagalag pa sa niya. So, very happy siya ngayon. And she will be sharing our story. Yes. What is her name, Mare? Maria Cruz. Ayan. Let's get to know her. Kasi mag-inspire tayo siya. Ilimita natin siya. Let's go. Parang ko to. Dati empty lang din. I thought it was like the biggest one. Okay, mga kawadler, finally, kasama na natin ang very beautiful Maria Cruz. Yes, welcome, welcome thank to Mare Mare Club. Oh, Mare Mare Club, thank yes. you for inviting me. Thank you so much. I never had, uh, said Mare Mare before. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, ito Mare. Hello, Mare. Uh -huh. Maring Muffy. Hello. Maring LJ. And si Maring Maria. Maria. Ayan. Hi. We are excited to hear your story. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Diba? Ang daming, nagkakuntuhan nga tayo kanina, ang daming uh -huh. yung Dami niyang kwento, ay dami niyang gusto pang gawin. Uh -oh. yeah, and sorry. she does not look like she's turning 50. Yeah. Yes. And I'm very proud to turn 50. Nice. I love it. Yeah. 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 But first things first. Uh -huh. I guess we can talk about why are you so empowered right now? Apart from being an amazing uh, turning 50? Uh oh. Yeah. 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 Mom and Everything else. Yeah, yeah. it's just, that. you know, I, I decided yeah, to yeah. be on this show because my life is really, I went through so much. Uh -huh. yeah, but almost six months now, uh -huh. I went through a divorce. And I feel like I've been through so much. And every time, you know, that happens to me, I feel like, look at me right now. Mm. So I yeah. wanted to be a mentor for someone. Yes. So because my life, a story, I can be a mentor to, to every children out there. And my goal right now is really like the, you know, young generations talaga because what i noticed with uh what we have right now and i went through that also and mm -hmm. you know i'm not ashamed of that mm -hmm. you go through depression and then you know there are yeah. days na you get up in the morning parang you ask yourself like why am i here what am i doing here because you're going through a lot diba? yeah and i'm so very thankful because when i was uh when i got divorced the first but I don't have anyone around me. And that's when you know you have who your friends are, who your that's families are. Really. Ah. But because I wanted to also, well, my friends are really good. I can tell you, all my friends are really good. They're very, I'm very lucky about that. It's just at that time when I went to, I was alone. Sabi ko, I asked myself, like, do I give up or do I keep going? Keep going. So I told myself, why not? I'm turning 50 this year. Uh -huh. I can start my life at the age of 50. Uh -huh. And I said, right now, my goal really to have that's why I'm in this show is to be a mentor to someone. Yes. And I tell this to everyone, my friends, my sisters, you know, my siblings. I was just talking to my sibling yesterday and I said, I would like to go out there and make a joke all the time. Mm -hmm. Sabi ko, you know, our, our story, we can be on Maala Ala mo kaya. And oh, I, I, I no, really. Also, your family all story, the time. Story. And I've been, I've been really telling Maala Ala mo kaya. Sabi ko, maybe I, and my sister would Who like. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, my sister oh, would sit oh, down and say, you know, yeah, she acts like she's Mam Charo. And then, <laughs> but I'm so glad I'm here because I get to share that. My goal really yes. is to be really a mentor to someone because I feel like any questions that you ask me, I am the best person to ask because uh -huh. I've been through all that. For me, I've been like, I, I wear everyone's shoes. Because like, I was from the Philippines. Most, yeah. uh, half, more than half of my life, I, I grew up here, uh -uh. like more than 30 years. I mean, almost oh, 30 so years now. How na. old were you when you moved here? Uh, 20. 
Asumas mag-20. Oh yeah, I've yeah. been, yes. so that's why nga I said, I'm more Americanized than Filipino. However, I'm also yeah. a Filipino because, yes, you, you know, have I have that culture yeah. and right now I'm, yes. I, you know, I want my kids to, and my kids don't speak Tagalog, pero, you know, they, I'm teaching them the value of like going to school because that's why we are, but it's yeah. very important. And speaking of that, uh -oh. you're like 18 at 15. Well, that's oh, what diba? I told. That's what I told <laughs> Hazel earlier. Sabi ko, 50 years old is the new 18. And Karen, I, I love it. Oh, okay. diba? okay, so, ano ba? So, 17 lang ako. <laughs> Kasi there's no, <laughs> anamo, there's really no age. Uh, they asked me, what's your secret? So, beauty, yes, share with us your beauty. What is your It's your just beauty soap beauty. and water. Ay, oh. soap and anong soap? It's a scrub. It's same types as you can buy it any mm. uh, grocery store, okay. so Walmart, Target, whatever. Uh, Pero it's just it's just that the secret talaga is being happy. Yeah. Because that's told me kanina, always smile. Yeah. Yes. You know, I never have Facebook. Also, I started I think two months, three mm. months. So I got divorced. Na sabi ko, you know what? I told my sister, I don't have Facebook. I I can. Sabi ko, what what to hide? Sabi ko, I want people to know about my story. So why didn't you like pinigil ng ka ba ng ex husband? No, oh, no, no, no. I'm very parang mm. I'm very reserved because. How I see it is people judge too much. So like before, I got divorced, diba? Uh -huh. Parang I feel like if I tell someone that I got divorced, I will be judged. Mm -hmm. So I have to lie and say, I've been married and then I, I calculate my, my daughter's age. And you know, so you, you have to lie because you have to fit in, diba? Mm -hmm. And then when like, what I don't like also, that's why I keep hiding my purse also. <laughs> It's like our, 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 our notice ko, uh, right now is sa mga young, even mga young generation then diba it's okay to buy naman expensive stuff if you can afford it pero what what i see kasi especially sa school they get bullied just big and i got you know parang you got bullied also hindi naman bullied pero it's like you have to fit in and it's really bad that's why kids now they have depression uh, or or anxiety oh, oh. some yeah. and as parents diba we only make enough money mm -hmm. and I always say because you're married, you're married, your moms, the yeah. The hardest part as being a mom when a child asks you for something and you can't give that to them, yes, yeah. it hurts you so much. Yeah. And parang you have to do everything. So parang what I ask for Sana is you know Sana if if you it's okay naman to buy everything, but you can afford. But for me, giving is also not just always receive lang. You have to give. Yeah. You have to give. Yeah, at saka, I've been like what I said, I've been really well growing up, you know, we've been poor as a Philippines. But I always How say How was your life in the Philippines? Let's go, I know. Uh oh, yeah, let's rewind. When I was born, my dad is an engineer, my mom was okay. a housewife. So we 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 were doing really well. Okay. Because my dad, I have I I was I said we even have ano yaya. I actually started going to school early at age of 2. I went to oh, nursery. Wow. I don't know oh. if there's nurseries kind of like preschool or, yeah, or yes, even yeah. before Daycare. preschool. So my mom and my dad got divorced. So my dad came here, 19, oh, early 80s, okay. 1980s. Okay. So because my mom was a housewife, she doesn't know anything. She never worked in her. Mm -hmm. Well, she worked in a factory when she was younger. Okay. Pero because she was dependent got, on your you dad. know, like you know how it is in our country, yeah. naman, you, you get paycheck and then the, the mm -hmm. husband would. So my mom doesn't know anything. So she became kind of like help my aunt and parang de ba just to okay. earn money. And that time, your kids probably didn't know this. At that time, my mom make one dollar. Yeah. It's 50 pesos. Oh, for a month? Well, for what? For a, day. a day? I mean, And pesos. raising four kids. And I'm so lucky if we get the Coca Cola bottle, right. two liter. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or no, really. Oh, right. 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 So when my mom had extra money, my, my, my mom would buy that. Or, you know, we just have to, and then we sleep mm -hmm. in one bed long. It's queen size bed, and we're like sleeping. Yeah. But you know what? What my mom had told me, that's why I, I really want to mentor kids. And look at me. No one can tell that I used to live in a. Hindi naman squatter, pero it's like poor people. Parang, basta ganon. I don't know what you call it. But anyways, my mom had ano, taught us na you still have to look good. Not having money, it have to stop you look, to look good. You always have, my mom, believe it or not, my mom would wear just to, I don't know, she won't go to market without her rollers. Yeah. She, won't, she won't go to the market without her orange lipstick. And then when she passed away, she passed away 10 years ago. The night before she passed away, she had, she's already confused and she had uh, someone to come to the home to get her nails done, a French manicure. Are you serious? So on her, uh -huh, it's true, I'm serious. Was she here? Or? She was here with us for a year oh. and because she, she, her family's there and she don't have friends. So when they're older, they yeah. like it more. Yeah, so sabi niya, I want to go back home na. So she went back home and then she, after a year, she passed away na. And my mom, she died early. I, I, you know, we missed her, pero she had a good heart. 
And I believe that's why I, my sisters and I, not just myself, we might not have any wealth, like land and house and yeah. what we have is you cannot buy. I'm going to cry, yeah. but <laughs> we have good heart. Yeah. yeah, so anyways, <laughs> and, that's what matters. and we have the beauty. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> if you see my sisters, you can go to my Facebook. What is guys. your Facebook? Can we follow? Is oh, yeah. Can oh, yeah. Follow oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They can follow me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, uh, since I opened my Facebook, you'll see my sister. I cook, I've been cooking. Okay. So my sister will put a lot of, I know, I, I, that's also uh, like I eat healthy. Yeah. I can cook something less than $10 for okay. For four. What? Oh, oh okay. I just go my favorite stores. I go to Trader Joe's. Uh -huh. I, I, my favorite, I love to go to farmer's market. Mm -hmm. okay. I have the local farmer's market. Um, um, so that's what I do. So Facebook, I only post in dalawa pa lang. But, you know, my picture for sure is pretty doon. Kaya yes. lang. <laughs> <laughs> no, pero I don't want them to see yung picture ko. Like the first, the one I post is you have to look at also the one behind me. Because behind me says words that you live by. And it says laugh often. So I posted that not because, you know, people post a Facebook because they want to see what they're doing. And it's okay lang yun because that's what they want, di ba? It's a free country. Yeah. Why not? Mm -hmm. Pero for me, it's really that. My favorite quote is like, worry doesn't uh, doesn't help you with mm. any of your problems, uh -huh. but prayers um, helps with oh, everything. Yeah. Prayers, Change, prayers changes so everything. We're both very, yeah. uh, when it comes to prayers. Yeah. Many times that we yeah. cry it out, you know, yeah. but after yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So prayer is really powerful. Yeah, so I, I, the reason I said that also, because every time, like I've been, I told you, I wore every shoes I had. I mean, I've been through everything. Early stages of moving to the U.S. Uh-oh. Can you share with us that yeah. experience? What was your, your biggest challenge? Oh my gosh. So, <laughs> yeah. uh, when I came here, I was 20. Uh, so, I don't know nothing about, I mean, my English is very good. Because growing up, my mom always says, speak English because you're going to your dad to America. So, oh, <laughs> which is good. Because we have bilingual is good. We have good English uh -oh. in, compared to like, other Asian countries. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, when I talk to you mga people that come visit or you mga imports, mm -hmm. They say like the Philippines is closest to home. What's the reason for you moving, migrating here? Uh, um, so it's my dad because my dad was here, and then yeah. um, uh -huh. the hard time I had was I don't know the money because nickel and dime are about the size. <laughs> yeah, the money. <laughs> so my first job was believe it or not I didn't know the money, but my first job was I was a cashier. Oh, no. So drive through pa, so drive oh, through. So oh, oh, so mabilisan. Pero I learned so fast. Yeah. The the, th the thing with me is like I anything that you put in front of me. Regardless yes. if I know it or not, I'm gonna know it. I'm gonna know it. Yeah. Regardless, like I'll know that in a day. Yeah, okay. Even if I don't work in an office, like I've worked, I, I, you know, now I just laugh, but it's not really good. Kids shouldn't really do this. I don't know computer. Eh? So I was, uh, I was a CNA for a couple months because okay. I, I applied. I was, look, I was a server also. And then I found, uh, she's Filipina. Her name is Madge. I, I, I hope I see her one day. Pero she hired me as a CNA, so I, I understood also as a, as a caregiver in CNA what their jobs are. Okay. So after two months, my boss a facility told there's opening down ng, ng medical records and admin and secretary. Okay. And then they asked me, do you know computer? I said, yes. <laughs> I don't. Oh, I do not. <laughs> yeah. So the next day, what am I doing? This, 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 I got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I worked there for like almost uh, seven years. And then from there, I, I started working as a unit, I mean, uh, as a psychiatric office, as an office. Wow. And then I became, so I, I've done a lot of office jobs. Okay. So without me graduating college. Oh. Yeah. And I believe that I'm smart. I mean, I'm not saying, I, you know, I love kids to go to school. <laughs> yeah. Your but kids want to but, school, but yeah. see, the competition back then and now are different. We are now in the system where everything's computerized, everything oh, you have yeah. to learn. Like my grandson know more than me on using the phone. Oh, yeah. I don't like, need, like computer oh, yeah. help. I the uh, so it's very different. Yeah. So for me, like kids really have to go to school. Because mm -hmm. my days was different now mm -hmm. than them. Because before it's all paper, you just learn. But I still learn, you know, computer and all that. But um, that's one of my goals. That's why I, I, I wanted this interview also. You know, my goal is to to for someone to be to inspire someone and also for the children yeah. maybe if someone heard me like mm -hmm. my this is my mission this is my vision yeah. you know uh -huh. then they will probably say oh I, i'll work with you let's yeah. do it and then there's there's two of us let's do it there's mm -hmm. more and more and more yeah. and maybe i'm not no longer here when that happens but i want kids to be all i mean mm -hmm. everyone has to be fair to these kids the reason i didn't finish college is money yeah. and i my you know i just don't believe that not having money you shouldn't go to college mm -hmm. 
because yeah, I want I would like the kids to just not stop because what's happening right now what I notice is that as soon as they're done with high school I'm done I'll be working or do whatever right or I'll just work in I mean fast food is good if that's what they want to do yeah to help but if, can, as much as possible, but if, they, if, they, if their mentality says you know I'm graduating high school and I'm going to this school and I want to be this mm -hmm. because I can and because you know it doesn't it's not hard to apply for financial aid mm -hmm. because my mom don't have to work hard as much for me to go to school the reason i'm going to school and i'm finishing college because this is what i am this is what i have to do right? to have a better life imagine if all these kids are done with with school mm -hmm. there will not be uh, there's not going to be homeless no one will rob the stores just like mm -hmm. like why would you be scared someone to steal the bag do they really want to steal your bag if they have jobs, yes. if everyone has jobs and they're, you know, we'll just go out there and have fun every Sunday and we'll just barbecue, just watch the game, diba? Right? Mm -hmm. um, and then the kids will be like, we'll have doctors and lawyers and, you know, every, everyone will just have, uh, when I go to the bank, nah, believe it or not, I hate reading, okay. diba? Right? And my money before, I'm just like, because I have money, I just like, okay, here, here. So now that I'm alone, like I, I, you know, I want. There's so many goals. Believe me, my list is like. Alone, uh oh, you're very single happy <laughs> and ready to mingle. Yeah, makikita mo sa Facebook. I'm single because I'm single. Uh -oh. Single, uh -oh. ready to mingle. Uh -oh. But I'm, I'm happy. Muna. I'm happy. Uh -huh. <laughs> you're enjoying happy life. Yeah. So yeah, that's one. I've been enjoying. I watch movie by myself last night. Okay. I go out. I go out every night because I live in Midtown. Because yeah. mm -hmm. you were married for how long? I've been with him 22 years, but I'm married 20 years. Okay, uh -oh. but that's a long time. It's a long time. Were you working while you were married or in a um, I worked, husband? yeah, worked I worked. I, okay. See, that's that's the thing. I'm, I've never been a stay-at-home mom. I did okay. it for about three years long because you have the, the, you know how it is. That's you have little shit. kids, like yeah. they have games and they have, you have oh, to yeah, drive sports. them for. Oh, we know they, about the sports. Because <laughs> they have sports and my daughters are cheerleaders yeah. and you have to drive like everywhere. Like, but it doesn't mean like I stop because you know I have to like stop. I just don't have a, a choice. But yeah. I'm I'm not a stay home mom because I love that's my personality. I don't even have TV at home. But I, I just I just can't I just can't sit there. I have to like go out. Yes, we, we totally yeah, we align with you. Yeah. 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 So it's it's 9 p.m. So I go okay. It's 9 p.m. I'm not I'm not sleeping. I'm around all these restaurants. Yeah. Let me dress up na lang and go out. Oh, Ganon, okay. diba? So I'm pretty naman. So if someone yeah. say hi, that's <laughs> it. The secret, yeah, yeah guys. Confident to tell you that you're so beautiful, yeah. you're pretty, yeah. Yeah. happy. Yeah. And then you said, you know, you want to mentor. Yeah. Um, you want I, to mentor that's my goal. Okay. That's my so, goal on this. So how do you plan on doing that? Like, what what are the steps? That you're so you? yeah. So for me to start, like when I talk to you, I yeah. want to be a producer. It yeah. doesn't mean I didn't finish a co my college. I can be a producer of course not. because. Yeah. I can be even be a president and that's how I see myself because what I learned in life is more than going to school mm -hmm. and I always say there's a survivor I don't know if you guys know the survivor game yeah, yeah we actually just interviewed that's know, physical well, yeah, beauty queen, survivor, right but that's that physical yes. and I know I can do that also but the yeah. survivor that I am that I want to survive is life which yeah. is hard yeah. if you see me how I look like right now I am the winner of survivor nice. that's my belief Okay. I believe on that. I'm the winner of that. Mm -hmm. Kaya nga sinasabi ko, if people, kasi you have, one is, you know, you have to be happy. Mm -hmm. You have to, but by praying, I started learning as, you know, when I started praying. I keep asking myself, kasi I'm so insecure talaga. Every time I look at the mirror, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I used to have, you know, like extensions. Then I put, parang, I'm so insecure. I keep fixing myself, yeah. diba? And then I said, then you don't have talent. You don't sing. You don't dance. You don't. Diba? Parang I keep asking myself. And then when I started praying, I was sitting in the corner. It was dark. Uh -huh. And I told myself, sabi ko, it's a Bible. God gave you a gift. And I keep looking at that gift. Mm -hmm. And I have that gift. And when I read all the gifts, I have all of it. It's something you can't buy. Right. Okay. And it's even if you're a billionaire right now, you cannot buy what I have. That's why I said I'm also the richest person in the world. Mm -hmm. And I am. Because of those <laughs> gifts. I believe in that. You you just have, the secret is just you have to believe in yourself and you have to tell yourself, I believe I'm very happy mm -hmm. and because I am you know, I'll just it's not me, but you have to just say because I'm generous example lang yon, or I'm very kind yeah. or I'm nice to people, I'm fair to people, I'm yeah. I don't judge. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, I don't know. when you know you're the number one cheer yeah. for your because you know what? I'm the richest person. Mm -hmm. Ako pinaka maganda, although you're the Miss Philippines world. <laughs> okay, <lang. diba? laughs> you're the star here. I can beat you on that because you're so pretty, diba? 
Tapos, like, basta, I just tell mm. myself that. And I said, if ever I find the love of my life again, kasi, I'm, yeah. you know, at, when I got divorced, I also told my told myself, I'll never never get married. Kasi parang, I, na-disappoint na ako eh. Mm. Sabi ko, ayoko na. I'll just grow up na lang old. I even told my sister. Pero, pag nag-iisip ako, sabi ko, you know what? I really don't want to get old alone. Why? Diba? If I have someone that I can go I'm old with. Diba? Yeah. Pero I also said, kapag nakahanap ako ulit, and that person doesn't take me seriously, or eh, kasi one thing is trust. What, what I believe in marriage is that trust. What would you tell your 19-year-old self mm-hmm. before you board the plane? Mm-hmm. Ano, ano yung yeah. advice mo sa before you go, Yeah, before you <laughs> move here. You know, it's, it was hard to leave the Philippines kasi one, it's because my mom, Diba? I'm very close to my mom and my two siblings is there also. But um, if you're going to talk to your 19-year-old self, yeah. what would you tell yourself? Yes. What would you tell yourself? Nothing. And I won't change anything. Because mm-hmm. if, I, if I would change something, I am not who I'm going to be right now. You know ah, what I mean? Because okay. the 19-year-old learned so much. Because mm-hmm. I had a baby early. Okay. I got married and got divorced. I did uh, so much mistake. I won't get, get into details, but like a lot, as in a lot, like bad things, you know, okay. as a teenager, as a 20 year old. And because of that, I realized, you know what? And when I pray also, I said, Lord, thank you for the pain. Thank you for the suffering. Thank you for all, all the trials. Thank mm-hmm. you for everyone that hurt me. And I really thank God be where I because the, the reason I am here today, because that's how I learned. Uh-huh. That's why if I would go back and God will tell me, you need to go back there, you're going to be born again. And then I have a choice to be someone rich and everything easy for me. I would pick still what I've been through. Because mm-hmm. if, if everything is easy for you, you will not learn. Mm-hmm. And then you're just like, everything's okay. I can buy anything. I will not experience pain because I have so much friends. Someone just love me, you know, so much. Mm-hmm. I mean, because we have to go through that to sometimes... And I, I also believe that we, we go through things because God knows that, you know, mm-hmm. we can because we're strong. And I think he gave me all that because he said, yeah. you're, you're, you're tough. And God That's knows good. you have plans, I right? have plans. So, yeah. 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 Plans. Yeah. Plans. Oh, oh. Yeah, so what are the Yeah, so... kids go back to the Philippines, what are the... Yeah, so sabi ko nga, when I realized who, who I am, because my question was to myself was like, what's, what's your... Why are you here? So I just realized that I have gift that God gave me. Why not use it? Yes. Diba? So um so my goal really is I you know talking to you this is the start diba right? and then my goal is to next is to have a concert sabi ko yes. nga kaya magpo-produce ako so we're going to start diba yeah, with concert, you then after concert. after that yeah. one um my goal is to have start opening my businesses diba yeah. so that my goal is to help um people sa street diba uh-huh. kasi it's not fair naman sometimes i see people sa street because i've been forced before uh-huh. sabi ko why why sometimes i question myself and i think everyone should ask this to yourself also mm-hmm. like when you see someone na, na, they're sleeping in our country it's the same thing when someone's sleeping on the floor or they're not eating ask ask yourself also kasi people judge them they're bad they are dirty they're you know ask them ask yourself like does she really want to sleep on the floor does she really want to ask for money? Does she really want to be hungry? Uh-huh. And the answer to that is no. Right? Yeah, of course. So that's my goal is, you know, to, to if them. I can reach out to them and hopefully, and I, I have high hopes na yeah. I'll be successful and help those people. Yeah, and you said every birthday, right? You oh, wanted oh I wanted to sana. When's the last time you went home to the Philippines? Um, so I've been here now 30 years. I went home lang three times. So yeah. uh, I'm yeah, planning to go. I'm planning to go home again next year. Oh, and nice. my goal there is hopefully I reach out to kids also nga. Um, and also um, hopefully I'll have a business there para then I can help nang yung mga kababayan natin. Kasi what I wanted to do and I you know I told myself also when I become an employer. I have to be fair for everyone also. Kasi yung, di ba, when you apply, you have to have resume or yeah. or you ask them questions by the yeah. paper. Ako hindi, I'm gonna make sure na, you know, that they need that job. If I feel them na they can have the job, yeah. then yeah, why not, di ba? When you dream big, it's free, di ba? Oh, Might as well dream yeah. big. Pero for me, I'm dreaming big. But I, I, I also t- told myself that I'm, I have to do it. So my goal is to have a hospital. Kasi healthcare is so expensive. Yes. So I already named, know the name of my hospital. It's gonna be Faith, and then across uh, Hope. It's like oh, Faith it's, Hope, yeah. and then uh, everything will be Hope because you shouldn't lose hope. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if I'll have a kitchen for everyone, there's no question asked. You just come and eat. I'll have all day, twenty four seven, and it's gonna be co- called uh, Hope Kitchen also. Nice. And everything's Hope, Hope Foundation, Hope 
anything. And then also uh, the foundation I wanted for young young generation. Because oh, nice. I, I also have a nephew, you know, I, I told kids don't worry about uh, worrying about money. For Focus, you should be focused on... And that's what I can tell if, if any kids are listening to me or uh, will watch me. Uh -huh. I want the young generation to know that they shouldn't worry about money. All they have to focus in their job is just to go to school. That's right. That's it. But they can finish. And, you know, parents should worry about that, not the kids, diba? Right? Yes, so, of yeah. course. Totally. School first, guys. You heard yeah. it from the beautiful Maria <laughs> yeah. Cruz. Yes. Thank you so much yes. for sharing yeah. your story. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Absorbed, learned so much. Yeah. So we want to look like you when we yeah. turn 50. Yes. <laughs> so, Joe, remember, soap and water. Yes. And smile. Yes. Smile yes. lang. You smile. Don't, you don't need smile. facial. But if you can afford facial, why not? Why not? <laughs> <laughs> relax. But yeah. So, again, thank you so much. Much, Miss well. Maria. We enjoyed hearing your story. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in in this episode. As you can see, very inspiring. Our guest. If you have a wandering Pinoy story, reach out to us because we would love to share your story as well. Just contact us in the numbers Here. below, or you can email us. If you or if you know anyone with an inspiring story, please let us know because we would love to share your story. Uh -oh. Because ang kwento nyo ay kwento, kwento namin. namin. Your, your story, story is our story. story. And syempre, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification button, and follow us on our social media accounts on Instagram and on Facebook, Facebook Mabuhay Studios and The Wonder Mamas. And of course, you have your yes, Facebook please. as well. Oh, yeah. Maria, Maria Cruz. Cruz is just, um, there's so many Maria Cruz, so you have to really search for yeah, well, Look for the pretty one. Beautiful face. <laughs> the so, pretty yeah. profile pic. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Mare, kasama na natin si Mr. Arnel Pineda. We are fans, super fashion me, de ba? We have the beautiful and talented Miss Lani. Up to now, there's some people that you know that you know this still says otherwise that you know I should have not been the the, the singer for the band. It was a really a great experience for me because years. Back. When I was just, you know, 18, 18, 19 yeah. years old, uh, I used to do bands, you know. Yes. Yeah.